All right, so the speaker stand is a six inch, I think that's five and a half inch, but it's six inch fence post. I got this light up button from Amazon. And so it lights up green. They sell red ones, I think, in other colors. Once you take the cap off, then inside I've got a just a piece of plexiglass that I had laying around. And I use that for my mount. So on the back of this plexiglass, there's a big piece of Velcro. And then I just use two-way tape for the other components. I will, uh, you'll see that down at the bottom there's a power supply. In the middle there's the timer and then the amplifier. Okay, so as you'll see, I have this piece of plexiglass. Down inside there, you'll see the big piece of Velcro that it attaches to. That's probably a little too much Velcro, but whatever. This is a 12 volt little mean well. And then I've got the timer here. Um, you can set this timer however you need to with um, the time that you want it to be on or off, or you can have it on all the time if you want to. And then this is the little amplifier. I went with this amplifier because the other amplifier that's on Amazon that has Bluetooth, it would have to cycle through looking for Bluetooth connection before it would go straight to a input jack. And when doing that, it caused a loud pop and it also delayed it by a few seconds. So they would hit the button and it would delay and then it would turn on. So it wasn't the most ideal solution. This one, as soon as you hit the button, it activates the um, uh, amplifier and then the speakers play immediately with, and there's not a really a pop. But anyways, that's basically how it's ran. So power supply, so we've got the uh, AC in, these DC out, one goes to the, the light and then the others go to um, the power for the amplifier and for the switch, the on off timer.